Okay, so today um, I got kind of a new sense of hope from the Lord and as I was getting ready to go to bed tonight, um, I just felt the message of just being like, who told you to stop believing? Who told you to stop believing in what God promised for you? Who told you to stop? Because I'm sure it wasn't God. At least for my life. It was never God who told me to stop believing in what he promised me. It was never God who led me in a different direction for my life. Not never, but like in the season I am right now. Thoughts are swirling about the future and anxiety is inducing about it. And I'm like, well, I could do this. I could do that. But what did God tell me to do? Did God tell me to go that way? Did God tell me to get that job? Did God tell me to worry about that? No. So let's take a breath. (sighs) And look at God. What did he tell you to do? Where is he leading you? Where should you go that he wants you to go, you know? I think we have to come back to that because there's so many worries and concerns in this world, but what is God telling you to do? You know, that's what matters. That's what matters. It's God, you know, the world is going to tell you otherwise. It's going to get you sucked in and fearful and worried about, you know, your bills and your income, where's your finances going to come from, you know? How are you going to do this and that? How are you going to provide for yourself and for your family? How are you going to make an impact on people's lives? How are you going to um, make your mark in this world? How are you going to make a difference? But it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Because we're here to spread the gospel. And I'm not saying you have to be a preacher. Or do what I'm doing. Online ministry, you don't have to do that. You don't have to not work. You don't have to do that. If that's not what God's telling you to do. You do not have to do that. Live your life how you are now. You know, if that's what you feel God's telling you to do. You know, keep working your job. But be a light in that situation. You know, bring glory to God through every part of your day um but don't give up on God because of what the world is telling you to do I think that's one of the biggest mistakes all believers can fall into is giving up on God's promise because of the world because it is scary to trust in God and not know the future when everything else around you is saying you need to do this you got to start living your life you got to start doing this but when you're like well I am living my life I'm doing what God's calling me to do but to the world it's not good enough you know I get that there's a sense you need to provide for yourself in a way but God's way matters more. It matters more. God sees all and knows all. So he has a beautiful plan for your life. He will help you. You just have to trust in him. Not this world. In Romans, we're told not to conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. The renewing of our minds in Christ not this world but in Christ Jesus says we will go through lots of trials and hard times in this world but take heart because he has overcome the world I have a verse here it's Galatians 5 verse 7 to 12 it says you were running a good race who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth what kind of persuasion does not come from the one who calls you a little yeast works through the whole batch of dough 
I am confident in the Lord that you will take no other view. The one who is throwing you into confusion, however that may be, whoever that may be, will have to pay the penalty. Brothers and sisters, if I am still preaching circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? In that case, the offense of the cross has been abolished. As for those agitators, I wish they would go the whole way and emasculate themselves. You are running the good race. Who cut in on you to keep you from obeying the truth? Who was it? Who told you to stop believing? What told you to stop believing? What part of your life are you anxious about that is leading you into the direction of the world rather than God? God. I think that's something we all should really take a second to look at in our own lives. Is where am I going? Am I choosing God or am I choosing the world? Because ultimately we should be always choosing God, but I mean, we do fall back as humans and it's normal, but we just got to go back to God. So I think a question we can all ask ourselves is, are we following God's way? Or are we following in the way of the world? And what part of our life, our personal life, can we, should, do we need to um, give to God and let Him take and carry and handle? You know, what do we need to just surrender to Jesus in our life that's making us lead astray and get anxious? You know, what part of my life can I? Um, give to God and how do I turn back to God and what is God's plan for my life? These are all questions to think about for yourself that I think are really important um, because God's way will always be better. It might not be easy. It might not be convenient. It might not be what you really want while you're going through it, but I promise you it will end up for your good. It will be better. It will bring glory to the kingdom of God and help you. It's God's your father and your child and he wants to bless you. You just got to be obedient to him. You know? He loves you so much. God loves you. And he's already forgiven you. And he will never stop forgiving you so long as you ask for forgiveness. Um, so it's okay that you may have turned away. I've been doing it this whole week, but I really feel God just giving me newfound hope that I've, because I have myself, this is a message that literally is speaking to me, like I'm talking in a mirror right now, um, because I have been really anxious and I have been going away from what God promised me and going to the world because of my worries when I should just be going to God and looking to Him and trusting Him. So that's, that's what's important. So let's do it together and we're going to get through this together. We're going to see God's goodness and promise together. In Jesus' name, we're in this together. Okay? Me and you, but most importantly, you and God are in it together. Okay, he knows the plans he has for you. Trust him as he is just revealing those plans little by little, step by step. Trust him. He loves you. You've got this. Go to God. Yeah. Go to God, okay? Good night. Thank you for watching.